Okay, creating PDFs is very, very easy. All you need is some PDF creation software, and the one I recommend is called PDF Creator, and it's free and it works very well. And to get it, you just need to go to pdfforge.org. That's P-D-F-F-O-R-G-E, all one word, dot O-R-G. And just click right here by the starred link that says Download PDF Creator Now. And click this top link. You don't want the source code. If you're using Internet Explorer, it might tell you that you um, shouldn't download it, and you can just um, let it know it's okay. Uh, it's perfectly safe. And just click Save File. I'll come back when you have it downloaded and installed. Once you have PDF Creator installed, you can use it just like a printer. So I'm going to show you how. Right now I'm in Microsoft Publisher. This is the Publisher document. All I have to do is go to File, Print. Um, but instead of choosing one of my normal printers, I'm going to choose PDF Creator and just hit OK. It's going to look like it's printing, but then you're going to get this box, and you can give the document any title you want. Hit Save, and then just tell it where you want to save it, and it's going to create the PDF. Just to show you, you can use PDF Creator in any program. Now I'm in Word, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up to File, choose Print. But instead of using this printer, I'm going to use PDF Creator. Just say OK. And there you go. You can even use PDF Creator to create PDFs of PDFs, which you might want to do if you have a very large PDF with many pages and you want to break it up into smaller files, or you only want to send someone a few pages of the longer document. For instance, this document is 28 pages, but let's say that I just want to create a PDF that only contains the executive summary, which is on page 9 and 10. In that case, I just go to File, I choose Print, and then just as if I were printing just pages 9 and 10 to a real printer, I'm going to say I want to print a PDF creator, and I only want to print pages 9 and 10. And another benefit I'm getting is the original document was um, A4 sized paper, the kind of paper they use in Europe. But if I want to print to 8.5 by 11, um, the print options in um, Adobe Reader say that I can fit to printer margins. So I've chosen that, and my new PDF is going to be sized 8.5 by 11. So I hit OK, and now I can save that as a smaller PDF of just the executive summary.